This video continues the series on using JavaScript um, within the Rails application. This last piece that we're going to do here is we're going to add in the use of Bootstrap to replace uh, using a dialog um, from JavaScript. So right now the way the application works is if I click on the row, I get this dialog, and actually this is kind of ugly, right? Because if I, I can switch tabs and that dialog is still there and I really I like to replace this with <clears throat> a modal that comes up and is tied to the tab uh, uh, rather than being tied to the, uh, the browser. So uh, Bootstrap has a modal that uh, can be used for this purpose, and so that's what we're going to use. Uh, there is, oh, well, there's certainly several examples on how this works. I'm going to show you one in particular. Uh, that's this large demo portal, or sorry, large demo modal. A couple of things to, to keep <coughs> uh, attention to here is that you define a modal as a div, uh, actually a, a series of uh, embedded divs. Uh, you have to name the modal with an ID. Um, you define a class called modal fade that's uh, basically used to uh, First of all, define it as a model, but then when you uh, uh, it fades in and fades out, it is the um, is the behavior. And actually, you can launch that here, and you'll see that um, when I click on the X, it kind of you notice it kind of fades in and fades out. So <clears throat> um, the other thing to to notice here so is that there's uh, within the modal content part of the the body for this. Um, there's a header, which typically defines the title of the modal, as well as defining how you uh, how you close the title. And that's the, the little X that you get up in the, the corner. Uh, you've got a body that defines the content, as well as a footer if you want it for close button, as well as saving changes and whatnot. So we we'll use part of this. Actually, I'm going to copy this. I click that, and I'm going to put that into our HTML um, for the um, our embedded Ruby for page one. I'm going to just drop all of that at the end of the file. There's one part that I don't need. I don't need the button. So I'm going to delete that piece. The other thing that I don't want is a save changes button. So I'm going to delete that. Um, but I do need to define what's going to go into the body of this, uh, as well as I want to change the title so that it is also um, uh, set by the JavaScript. So I'm going to do this by, I'm just actually, I'm just going to delete that text. You'll notice that an ID was created here, so my modal label. So we're going to use that um, for defining the, <clears throat> the content uh, with some JavaScript. Um, the other thing that I need to do is, okay, so I have this, this ID here. Um, I'm going to need to use this as part of the definition of the row. And actually, if we go back, <clears throat> to the definition here, you'll notice that there's this attribute called data toggle. Actually, we need, yeah, we need that piece, so, uh, a data toggle, <coughs> as well as a data target. And both of those will be used um, for the, um, um, the table row definition. So I'm going to just copy that, that and I'm going to put those here the definition of the, <clears throat> the data toggle. So at the moment, actually, I could probably run this, <clears throat> click on a row, and then this modal will come up, but it just won't have anything in it. So maybe I ought to put some other text here. So hello, and I'll put some text here, world. And let's save that, and then re-render our page. So now when I run, oh, actually, I need to do one more thing. I need to get rid of this alert. Don't need that anymore. Get rid of that. And so now let's run this. So here is my modal. 
says hello world. I've got the close button and the X. Actually, I probably don't even need the close button. It's kind of useless. Um, so I'm going to go here. I'm just get rid of the whole footer. Okay. <coughs> I, I need to um, add an ID to the body part of this div so that I can search for it and then modify it. So we'll do ID equals my model body. Oh, not model. Oh, very much not a model body. Okay. Uh, all right. So here's the, the next thing I need to do is I'm going to take this data that I had pulled from uh, using JavaScript and I'm going to now search for the uh, uh, those tags using the uh, uh, document dot get element by ID, and then I'm going to replace the inner HTML for those with company and position. So document dot get element by ID. Uh, what were they called? My modal label and my modal body. Okay, so. Let me just write the other part. <clears throat> Oops. My mobile body. All right. And so the inner HTML for that is going to equal, let's see, the label will be company and dot inner HTML. Position. Okay, so let's rerun it. When I click on the row, there's my model. Beside the modal, it's the company and then the position. Um, click on that. One of the things to notice, let's click on the pedestrian chair. Oops, the modal came up and now it's switched over to that page. I obviously don't want that. What I, would what I would really want is I, whenever I cl click on a row, this just comes up, that displays, I'm all happy with it, I can click on it and never go to that other page. And the only time I'd actually want to do something is if I click on edit and then go to the edit page. I obviously have to do something about the fact that, you know, I've clicked on that and the, the model comes up. Um, actually, what I would do is change the toggle so that the toggle is associated with everything that's here except for edit and destroy. But if I click near the start date or end date or name or the description, then we'll bring up that modal. Otherwise, we won't do anything. Um, I could do that. That would be quick, en quick enough, but I don't think it's necessary at the moment. Um, so that's... I think that's everything that we needed here. You click on that and it comes up. Um, yeah, so that concludes um, this video. Um, actually, yeah, the, we'll, we'll end there. Uh, I'll leave the, the other part as uh, uh, perhaps as an exercise. Anyway, that concludes this video.